Hello and thanks for watching this video. Acumatica 2020 R1, a series of videos for new enhanced features. So today we're going to talk about import scenarios and how we have a few enhancements there. So we'll get started by going into more items under integration and let's take a look at our import scenario. We'll open up one and the first enhancement is we now have the ability to make our import scenario once configured visible to the user interface which this means what this means is it's available in the sitemap. Now if you've seen some of our other videos you'll note that we now have this new integrated sitemap which allows you to configure the workspace and the category. If you've used Acumatica for the last few years you know that the sitemap and the menu navigation used to be a lot different. This is the modern UI where the menus are along the side and you have these pop-up menus, work areas, and different categories. So now we have the ability throughout to configure the workspace and the category. And of course, being able to show this in the user interface, in the menus, is all new in the import scenario. So if we configure this under integration and under scenarios, and then we go into our integration, we show all, you now see this category scenarios and this is the name of the import scenario that we've created. The other thing we can do is we now have the option to enable parallel processing. This allows Acumatica to use additional CPU cores at the same time when processing your import for the purposes of making your import much faster. Lastly in the import scenario we have a new option called substitution lists. This allows us to configure set substitution lists. For example, we want to convert our original value of ED power, that's the vendor ID in this case, to IND exiles. This gives us the ability to, when we're mapping out our fields, so for example, vendor ID, if we take a look at this and edit it. So for example, this is our substitution list. We could put this here. And then anytime our source field is discovered, Acumatica will automatically convert using this substitution list. So that's a new option. Lastly, if we go over to our import by scenario, there's a couple of minor things that you have here. So here in this screen, we used to have a rollback option here. Instead, we now have a clear data. So clear data does the same thing. It takes out all the records that you've prepared previously. It also clears out your history and allows you to start over, re-prepare, and then do your import if you want to. Lastly, there's a new feature here that allows you to pick your column. So for example, maybe vendor ID, and maybe I want to switch vendor ID ED power for Greg. I can hit replace or replace all and Acumatica will go through and change that column for me so I don't have to go to each record and change it. Of course these grids are editable but if you have a lot of records with the same mistake in your import file this find and replace feature can now save you a lot of time. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions please wait to the end of the video and you'll see our contact information there. Thanks so much and have a great day.